This is a story from a long, long time ago. A time when the sun hadn't earned its mighty status yet. When the sun had no idea that the sun was the center of the universe. One fine morning, everybody woke up in the solar system in our Milky Way galaxy. When suddenly they heard somebody crying. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Mercury woke up rubbing his eyes. What is it? Who's crying? said Mercury groggily. And then he saw the sun crying. What happened to you? Why are you crying? Wah! Wah! The sun just wouldn't want to listen to anybody else. What happened to him? A worried Mercury asked his neighbor Venus. Ha! Huh, him? Well, I just told him that he's just another star in the Milky Way galaxy. And uh, there are billions and billions of stars in our galaxy. And uh, he's not even the biggest. You know, in fact, us planets, we are more special than him. So he's crying. And the waves got louder and louder. What are you doing? What is this commotion? Said Earth, Mars and Jupiter. Everybody was very, very disturbed. Just then, Ceres from the asteroid belt said, Excuse me, Venus, don't forget us. Just because me and my other four dwarf brothers uh, who live in the Kuiper belt are smaller doesn't mean that we are not very special. Huh? My brothers, uh, uh, Huamaya, uh, Makimaki, Pluto and um, Eris, even we are very, very special. Oh yes, this is turning into a whining competition, said the Venus to himself softly. I should be more careful of what I say. Yes, yes, of course, Ceres, you are important as well. And so are your other uh, four dwarf brothers. Okay, son, quiet, calm down. Wah! Wah! But the son just wouldn't keep quiet. One day went by and the wails got louder and louder. Another day went by and the wails got even more louder. And finally, the third day, everybody had plugged their ears with their fingers and they said, we have had enough, especially planet Earth. You see, back in those days, planet Earth was very, very pricey. You know, because there was life on Earth, there was water and everything was perfect and balanced and hence humans existed. So Earth was very, very pricey and Earth thought that she was the center of the universe. So the Earth said, listen, Venus, you started all of this. So you have got to make him stop crying because I need to get my beauty sleep. Venus said, I have started all this. Well, all right, I'll come up with a plan. Mm, how should I make him keep quiet? OK, let's let's just um, let's just throw him a party. Yeah, party, that's a good idea, said Saturn, again polishing her rings and batting her eyelids. I'm always ready for a party. Um, okay, we can play some earth music and um, I think that should uh, settle him down. Come on, let's start. So all the planets started singing some earth music, but their voices combined together were not enough to beat the loud wails of the sun. Another day went by. And they had to come up with another plan. All right, let's um, let's give him. I'm out of ideas. Let's give him a let's give him a present," said Venus. But what present should we give such a big star? They ran out of ideas, and another day went by. Finally, Venus said, "All right, I have a plan." You see, Venus had thought about it all night. So what had really ticked off the sun was Venus telling him that he's not that important. Well, what if Venus tells him that he is important? So Venus raised his voice and said, You who son, listen. Wah! Wah! <sighs> listen, son, listen. You know what? I was wrong. I was wrong, yelled Venus. The son looked at Venus. Yes, okay, now listen to me, okay? You're not that unimportant. In fact, you are very, very important to all of us, uh, us and the dwarf planets. You are very important to us because you are the reason why day and night happens. 
am I? I know you're just saying this to make me feel better. <laughs> Cried the sun. Oh, I can't take this anymore, said Venus hotly. No, 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 sun. He's right. Venus is right. In fact, you, you are um, you're very, very important to us. You are the reason life exists on earth. And everywhere, you know, all of us are dependent on you. Is it? Life exists on earth because of me? Yes, partly because of you, but you're very important, you know. Uh, we wouldn't be able to survive on earth if, if you were not there. Really? Said the sun, lighting up now. And yes, you are very, very big. You are bigger than all of us combined. In fact, the 99% of the entire solar system's mass is you. Is it? Said the sun, now feeling much, much better. Yes, and so what if there are billions and billions and billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy? And so what if uh, V. Y. Canis Majoris is bigger than you? You are our star, son, and you are very, very special to us, said Saturn, again batting her eyelids. Oh, Saturn, that's mighty nice of you to say. Anytime, son, anytime, said Saturn shyly. Well, the sun was feeling much better now, but suddenly they all heard wails again. <laughs> What? Not me, not me, said the sun, looking all confused. Who was crying now? And then they all saw planet Earth crying. What happened to you now? Said Venus, looking so irritated and annoyed. <laughs> you know, it turns out that the sun is the center of the universe. And I am not. Is it? Am I the center of the universe? Said the sun, beaming. Yes, the astronomers on earth say that there is something called gravity and the gravity of the sun is something that stops us planets from wandering off into space. So, so you are very important to the, to the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> Said earth crying. Oh, not so unimportant am I then, said the sun. It seemed to be the happiest day of his life. But then they all had a big problem. They all had to come up with a way to make earth keep quiet. Just then Uranus from far away spoke and said, Calm down earth, calm down. These astronomers on earth, they are crazy people. They keep coming up with theories all the time. You never know, one day they call one of our brothers dwarf planets and one day they, 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 they tell us that we are not planets or there are more of us. Don't pay heed to what they say. I won't be surprised if they come up with this whole theory as to how the universe came to be. This made the earth feel a little better. But then... Again, the earth went <gasps> and all the planets once again plugged their ears. Wailing, 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 groggily, groggily, groggily. Whining, 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 plugging, plugging, plugging.